Stage 9 between Antofagasta and Iquique has in store the most spectacular finish in the South American Dakar. A three kilometer long downhill road towards the Pacific Ocean with an incline of 32%. But before that, the drivers have over 500 kilometers of dusty roads to deal with. A trip to the seaside doesn't come cheap. As usual, first ones in action are the motorbikes. Yesterday, Mark Comer made the most of Cyril Depre's misfortunes to reclaim top spot in the overall standings, one minute and 26 seconds ahead of his KTM teammate. But a wounded Depre is a dangerous one, and after a third of the stage, he's the fastest man around. The Frenchman is 37 seconds ahead of Joan Barre de Bort and a minute and 12 seconds ahead of Comer. At the end of the first time zone, Depre is still well ahead, and Comer even trails three minutes and 30 seconds behind. And at that moment, the Frenchman is back in the overall lead in this Dakar. Meanwhile, Joanne Bereda Bort remains in the top three, just under five minutes adrift of the KTM riders. At that point, 120 kilometers are still to go before the infamous dive down towards Iquique. And the final section of the stage sees Depre capitalize on his excellent driving, as the Frenchman increases his lead on Marcoma as he finally reaches Iquique with yet another win under his belt. Depre is now back in the lead in the overall standings, 2 minutes and 28 seconds ahead of his Spanish counterpart. So what a day for the Frenchman, a stage win, back on top in this Dakar. Yesterday's abysmal stage seems long forgotten. In the car category, the bout continues at the top of the standings between the Minis and the Hummers. After one third of the stage, the Americans have the upper hand, with Robbie Gordon and Nasser al Atiyah dominating the Minis on the road. At that point, Gordon is ahead, with Al Atiyah in second place. Behind them, four minis lead the chase. Christoph Lofczyk, Stefan Petrancel, Leal Dos Santos and Nani Roma. Since the start of this 2012 Dakar, Nasser Al Atiyah has been in trouble with his Hummer. Several times in the last few days, the Qatari has been forced to stop due to mechanical failures, but always managed to get it going again. Not today, however. Betrayed by a broken alternator belt, Al Atiya is forced to retire and bids farewell to this year's Dakar after only 174 kilometers. Fortunately, all is not lost for the Hummers. Robbie Gordon retains the lead as he cruises past checkpoint number eight ahead of the pack, with the Minis still leading the chase. But the American isn't impressed and increases the gap with Peter Hansel to finally clinch the stage win for Hummer. He completes the stage in 6 hours, 25 minutes and 21 seconds, while Peter Hansel arrives in Iquique a minute and 38 seconds later. In the overall standings, the Frenchman retains the lead, with Gordon still in second place. The Dakar is not only the most beautiful rally, it's also one of the safest. 15 days of hard competition, 8,000 kilometers. How to ensure security is on the agenda each and every day on this bigger adventure in the world. Crash! An injured competitor. With the RE track information across the Atlantic live by satellite to be treated in Paris, where signals are filtered and directed back to the bivouac. In Paris, they will verify the alert, qualify it, and once they get the confirmation, we do the intervention. Once the intervention is decided, five helicopters and ten medical cars spaced 80 kilometers apart are able to react. Oh, we're really happy because doing the statistics we note that we've arrived very quickly to patients, uh, about 19 minutes on average. It's nearly faster than an ambulance in Paris. In the bivouac 24-7, the medical center welcomes competitors and personnel to the 57-strong medical team. We have six tons of material, medicines, dressings, plasters, casts, resin and the uh, electronic material for shocks uh, with scope defibrillators, electrocardiograms, it's like a small hospital. The other priority of security is the public. Over the rally, 60 spectator zones are created, 25,000 local security forces are involved. We work with the local forces who ensure the security of these places and we communicate three days early to the public where they are. Why? Because we want the public to go to these zones and it's safe there. With five million spectators, the Dakar is the biggest event organized in South America. It must be safe.
team did an excellent job on the rest day, really rebuilding the car to a top state and mainly nearly looking like new. Bill Parsons here. We're here at the rest day in Copiapo. We're hanging out with our consumer winners. Ten lucky winners and a guest were chosen from ten different countries in Europe to come on out to the rest day to enjoy a little bit of what's going on here in the Dakar Rally. Just cannot believe I'm here. My friend Andrew here stopped by the hamburger stall, brought a can of Monster Drink, carried on on his trail, looked at the button, did a dirt on the phone, and we're here. Experience of a lifetime, I can't believe it. It's the best thing I ever it happened to me in a long time. <laughs> it's perfect here. I'm his daddy and he chose to, me, to take me with him. And uh, I left the duck out since uh, 1980. So it's super area. What do you think? Have you guys had a great time here? Has it been good? Yeah! yeah. Awesome! Well there you have it. That's what Monster does. We give back to the sport and that's what we're doing all day long. Yeah.